it's not in you it's out here it's a familiar spirit it's trying to play on what you don't believe Hold on to your shoes here. I'm going to say something that's really going to mess you up, but I think it needs to be said. So, 2 Corinthians 11.3 says this, But I fear, lest by any means as a serpent be gilded Eve through his subtilities. So but I fear, lest by any means as a serpent be gilded Eve through his subtilities. But I fear, lest by any means as a serpent be gilded Eve through his subtilities. So, but I fear, lest by any means as a serpent be gilded Eve through his subtilities. So your mind should be corrupted for the simplicity that is in Christ. So it says here that she was be gilded, right? That, that means tricked, guys. Okay, so it says here that she was begilded, right? That that means tricked, guys. Okay, so it says here that she was begilded, right? That that means tricked, guys. When I ask you, you know, did they give him a choice? I don't believe God created Adam and Eve with the ability to make a choice to go against him. I don't believe that. Oh dear, that was spectacular. That was that was one of the better ones. <laughs> <laughs> when God said, let us make man in our image, I don't think he was having this image of Adam and Eve. Hey, let's give them the ability to go against us. I don't believe he created them that way. I don't believe we were created that way. I don't believe that we were created with the ability to disobey God. I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. I think what happened is at the fall, uh, there's something that happens in scripture here. Hold on to your shoes here. I'm going to say something that's really going to mess you up, but I think it needs to be said. Hold on to your shoes here. I'm going to say something that's really going to mess you up, but I think it needs to be said. Hold on to your shoes here. I'm going to say something that's really going to mess you up, but I think it needs to be said. Um, something happens when they eat the fruit. The knowledge of fruit and evil. 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 Let's say you were to say okay, they did have a choice, right? Let's just say that, just for argument's sake. Let's just say Adam and Eve had a choice. So they, the choice was whether they should do it or not. That's the choice, right? That's the question. So what's the name of the fruit? It's called the knowledge of good and evil. So what's the name of the fruit? It's called the knowledge of of good and evil. So what's the name of the fruit? It's called the knowledge of good and evil. Hi, I'm a fruit and my name is the knowledge of good and evil. So what's the name of the fruit? It's called the knowledge of good and evil. So if they didn't have the knowledge of good and evil, what knowledge did they have? That's the question that you got to ask yourself. What is the knowledge that Adam and Eve had? Because they did not have the knowledge of good and evil, which means they could not choose right from wrong because they don't know the difference between right and and wrong. I'm telling you right now, I could be wrong in anything. I could be wrong with everything that I'm saying. I'm telling you right now, I could be wrong in anything. I could be wrong with everything that I'm saying. I'm telling you right now, I could be wrong in anything. I could be wrong with everything that I'm saying. I'm telling you right now, I could be wrong in anything. I could be wrong with everything that I'm saying. I'm telling you right now, I could be wrong in anything. I could be wrong with everything that I'm saying. It's not in you. It's out here, it's a familiar spirit, it's trying to play on what you don't